So you want to add an actual linked of an image and the image of course to work as an actual linked. So I'm gonna be choosing. So let's focus into how you can do this in a very easy way. I'm gonna leave you the link down below in the description just in case you want to get started totally for free. Directly here inside the actual Shopify, you want to go into your dashboard. Once again, you are into your dashboard. What you want to do is to locate, of course, the themes and the customization. Inside the online store, click into themes. Inside here into themes, you want to see the current theme and click into the customize so you can start customizing your custom theme. As you can see here is the actual current thing that I'm actually using. Make sure that you have the actual latest themed updated. Now let's go into customize. Directly into customize, you want to make a selection of the section containing. Now once you to the customization panel, you want to navigate to the section of the website where you wanted to add the link to the image. This could be a home page, a product page, or a collection page. So in this case, I wanted to create an actual new section. Into the left part, I have the template. In this case, I'm actually using the image banner new section. This should be the actual clickable image that I wanted to use. Now here you should be seeing the actual length of the actual product. In this case, we don't see it. That's the reason why we actually needed to paste an actual code. For that, I'm gonna leave you those code into the actual link in the description, which in this case could be actually this. So what you wanted to do is to copy this code the whole code, make sure that you copy all the code, or as almost everybody says, an actual schema. Once you copy that code, what I wanted to do before um, I do this, I wanted to don't show the container text or the button here into my image. I only wanted to showcase the image. And when they click into the image, they're gonna be go straight directly into the collection of my products. So I'm gonna go into save, and I'm gonna go into exit. Now let's go into, instead of current device, let's go for the three dots and go for edit code. Inside here, inside the filtering of the files, I'm gonna look out for image banner. As you can see, here is the image banner liquid. So I just select my image banner liquid. I'm gonna go all the way down and I'm gonna paste the actual new section, which in this case is this one. Make sure that what you're doing is to select all the actual schema that was before so you can replace it with the new code that you have just copied from the link that I just gave you. Once you have replaced, I'm gonna hit into save. Let's go back now into exit and locate the section where you have located your image. In this case, here it is. Now you should see that here we have the actual linked new section. That means that what we can do is now to focus into what matters the most, which is the actual collection of the sneakers. So I'm gonna go here and go for save. So I'm gonna hit now into the three dots and go for view just to see if this one actually worked it. So I'm gonna scroll all the way down and you can see here's my actual image. If I clicked into the actual image, it's gonna be sending me directly into the sneakers that I do have available. So as you can see, it is actually working. Really important guys that you have an actual great quality image in order to make this clickable. Otherwise it's gonna be looking really bad like this. So what I'm going to be doing here is just to change the actual image so I can explore more images. I choose sneakers, for example, and you can see that I have lots of elements that I can choose and go for this one and go for select. Now you can see I have an actual great high quality images and the link is exactly the same. So what I just needed to be careful with is the actual quality. Lastly, what I'm going to be doing here is to add a new block here into the texting and I have the image banner title. I'm gonna change this for sneakers and make this a little bit larger and here into safe. Now I'm gonna go back into my store. I reload the page and I wanna make sure that my actual clickable image has now the new changes, but still it's clickable anywhere into the image. So as you can see, it is actually working. It's not that hot. Everything has been done directly into the paste code that I just gave you. It's a really great application and website in order to create more elements that you can just add directly into your Shopify. So with that being said, now we're to the very end of the video. So hopefully this was very useful for you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video if you want to see more great elements directly inside Shopify. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hopefully we can all see you next time.